our final calculation using the example from our lecture. We're going to calculate the return on investment. And this, I think, is sort of the most simplest calculation you can make. You still have to know the net expenditures or the net discounted expenditures and calculate the net discounted benefits. And then we simply use the basic ROI formula where we subtract the costs from our benefits divided by the costs themselves. So as before, I've shown this on a separate tab uh, for demo purposes, but you can simply use the information in your previous setup as long as you are able to, one, calculate the total cost. And for our particular project, we only had an expenditure or a cost in year zero of $1,000. And the total benefits, the total discounted benefits are $1,711.45. Really the net present value of all of the future values from year one through through year five. And remember, these are numbers that we've already calculated before. These are the discounted cash flows. Here's our discount multiplier, right? Again, all these values for year one, 0 0.92166, for year two, 0 0.84945. That all comes from the portion of the present value formula uh, that was one over one plus I, which is our discount rate, all to the power of N, which is the year in which the um, future value takes place. And so these are going to be the same. You can see here it's, it's no different from what we calculated in our MPV table or calculations, what we had for discounted payback and the values. So really all the information is there. We're just using it and calculating something entirely different, the ROI. And so once we take the sum total of those benefits right, of 17, 11, and 45 cents, then we can calculate the return on investment by simply taking the benefits, subtracting the total cost, dividing by the total cost again. And we'll see that this in and of itself returns a 71% on our investment. Okay, so in this, in this field, I simply have the, the formulas set up my Excel spreadsheet so that I have my total costs in cell B13 and my benefits or my total benefits, discounted benefits in cell B12. And then after that, it's, it's very simple. It's cell B12 minus cell B13 divided by cell B13, and that will give you the 71%. And here is the formula for um, just as a reference one more time. 